Crossing. No, that's not just a game your kids play on their phones. Since the weather has been warming up, many more animals, just like people, like to take a stroll in the morning and evening. We advise drivers to certainly be alert. There are times of day when larger animals are out, particularly dawn and dusk. I just had a conversation with our maintenance crews up on some quiet pass. They usually see more um, wildlife in the early morning hours. In summer, dairy with the Washington Department of Transportation says many deer and elk tend not to travel alone. You see one animal they usually travel in herds, so there's usually more. Trooper Chris Thorson with the Washington State Patrol says make sure that you're looking ahead and paying attention while you're driving. Try to be not distracted at all when you're driving. I know we talk about this a lot, don't think about animals, uh, but pay attention. Always look down the roadway, look what's in front of you. And Trooper Thorson said the best way to actually avoid hitting an animal is actually going the speed limit. Uh, be really careful in wood-lined areas. Uh, like on single or double lane areas up in the woods. And if you have the option to drive in the middle lane. If it's a three lane section like there are in sections of I-90, then that'll give you just a little bit more response time. Um, of course, gradually brake. Do not swerve. It's a, If it's a smaller animal, don't worry about it. Just keep going. But if you are close to uh, hitting a large uh, animal, just gently ease on to your brake. Again, do not swerve because there's usually other cars around you and that could cause even more damage. To help control where animals cross the interstates, the DOT built an overcrossing and multiple undercrossings for the wildlife to cross safely along I-90. Derry says this significantly decreased animal collisions over the past several years. However, if you do still hit an animal, Trooper Thorson says to pull over in a safe place and call 911. In Yakima, I'm Sophia Lesios.